Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I thought I'd do a video about what's been on my mind. So, here we go! Alright, first thing on my mind, Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, everyone's talking about it. it it's like the... Th it feels like a COD release, really. You know when COD drops, it's like this really big deal, and, and uh, it's taken over YouTube to an unusual level. Like, um, one thing I notice is... When Call of Duty comes out, a lot of times non-Call of Duty channels, like even non-gaming channels, start making Call of Duty videos just to get in on the views, you know? Music channels will start writing songs about Call of Duty, you know, like uh, uh, vlog channels will start playing Call of Duty or they'll do Call of Duty skits just because it is the topic of the day. And it feels like that's where Grand Theft Auto V is right now. Like, everybody's talking about it. Um, me, I'm not a huge Grand Theft Auto guy. I played it back on the PS2, but I haven't played the recent copies of it. But one of the things that has me most curious about it, I'm telling you, like, like my pros and cons as I think about investing time into this game. And one of the pros is everybody says it's awesome. It has the highest Metacritic score so far this year. And it's mid-September, so that's saying something, right? You know, if it's the highest score we've seen so far this year, I'm going to town on these kids. If it's um, if it's the highest scoring thing we've seen this year, then then that says a lot. You know, it's uh, it it's September, and that's a big deal. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a moment. Anyway. Uh, so, so that's a thing. The other thing is the budget. The budget is so high. It was like $250 million or something ridiculous like that. They're saying it's one of the highest budgets of anything that's ever happened in entertainment since like some movie, that, like Batman or whatever. I don't know, a movie from years ago. That uh, It's just crazy, crazy the amount of money that they put into making this game the best that it could be. And... Uh, you know, it's almost like, you know, am I going to miss out on that? It, all it costs is like 60 bucks and I get to find out like what all the budget and talk was about. Like that kind of interests me. Um, on the negative, one, it's not the kind of game that you play for like 10 minutes at a time. Like COD, if you have 15 minutes to spare, you can literally pop in, play a DOM or two TDMs and you're good. Um, Grand Theft Auto, like nobody like pops in, kills a hooker and then pops out. Like, you know, you play Grand Theft Auto when you've got some time to put into Grand Theft Auto. And that's something that's been really in short order for me lately. You know, time. I've been working all the time. Um, and then the other thing about Grand Theft Auto is they talk to you constantly. They're always talking to you in Grand Theft Auto. It never stops. And as a gamer, that doesn't bother me much at all. Like, as a gamer, here, you see how I went around the back and killed him rather than the direction he expected me to come from? Just pro tip. Anyway, uh, as a gamer... I don't mind being talked to at all. Like, that's a really fun thing. But they do it in Borderlands, and I found that it was kind of difficult to make the kind of videos I usually make, things where I talk to you guys, um, because you don't want to hear me talking at the same time you hear the game talking. When those two things happen together, then, um, you know, it, it just it's difficult to understand what I'm saying. So you have to turn the game audio down to almost off, and then that's a weird thing. And it just, I, I feel like Grand Theft Auto doesn't easily break down into like five, ten minute videos. What it does is it becomes like a really good let's play game, according to me. Or a live stream game, right? If that's the sort of thing you want to do. You could live stream Grand Theft Auto. But um, maybe my friends and I will take a little break and do some Grand Theft Auto live streaming um, when the multiplayer drops, right? And oh, they told me you can't do cutscenes in Grand Theft Auto right now, and I thought that kind of sucked. So, um... Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. But anyway, that's what's been on my mind with regards to Grand Theft Auto. I haven't bought it yet, but I'm thinking about it, and I'd love to get your feedback. Like, if you guys bought it, are you loving this game, or has it been a little too hyped, or is the hype totally justified? You know, and it, when you're watching Grand Theft Auto videos, do you want yet another channel to be uploading Grand Theft Auto videos? Like, that's another thing. I feel like a lot of the guys doing Grand Theft Auto now are kind of me tooing it, and, uh, um, you know... That's, that's not what I'm aiming for. Having said that, I mean, look, I'm uploading Call of Duty. If, if that's not a Me Too game, I don't know what is. So maybe that's not a valid concern. But yeah, would you like to see me upload Grand Theft Auto? Or are you getting freaking Grand Theft Auto out already? I'd love to get your feedback. Uh, or maybe we'll just do it live and, and I'll play with my friends. That'll be a good thing. But all right, next topic. Minecraft. I've been thinking about what to do with that. Um, sometimes I upload my live streams. Mostly, though, I've just been streaming it live and then making it unlisted after the show is over. And I think what I'm going to do 
is take some of those recordings and grab together highlights. Like that's a popular video style. Like you, you edit up the the best moments from the four hours that you played, and then um, you know upload that instead of uploading all four hours. And I was thinking, like there are some moments in there that legitimately crack me up, and there are some really highs. Like I, Joe Lozon was watching one of my videos. Now he's a friend of mine, so he might be biased. But he's like, I sat down to watch your Minecraft live stream, and here I am three hours later still watching. And uh, it's like, you know, I know some of you are like anti-Minecraft, just almost out of principle. Like, I am a, 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 you know, killer, plunderer, attacker, flag capper type guy, and I will not be playing some game that looks cute, right? Like, like you look at it like it's Barbie, and, and we're trying to ride horses and capture rainbows or something. So I, I get that. Because that's exactly how I felt about Minecraft before I got into it. So I know where you're coming from. But um, uh, having said that, I think that the highlight thing might be a pretty popular video style. And I'm going to start doing some of that. I've got a bunch of recordings to, to sort through and edit. And I think that will be, you know, just a little better received than the, the full length live streams that we do. Just grab some of the, the highlights. There are moments, like I'm thinking of stuff in particular, Mark and his cannons, that, uh, that people will really like. So, um, I don't know. I think you can expect to see that on this channel, some of this stuff. And um, I'm, what I'm not going to do is remove me doing the sort of commentary I'm doing now or, or um, uh, yesterday's video I thought was actually especially good. There'll be a link to it at the end where I, I share some sort of deeper thoughts. Like I've seen some other channels. I don't want to... I'm not going to call anyone out, not gonna, not looking for YouTube drama, but like I used to really appreciate like, you know, the wisdom and thought that went into a video. And now it's more about just watching someone have fun and laugh. And while that's a good video, I miss the stuff that it, or that it replaced. So, um, um, you know, on my own channel, it's like, I think I'm going to try and mix in both. I think I'm going to try and still have videos that share whatever insight are in my head and, you know, uh, maybe videos that are just uh, me and my friends having a good time and stuff like that. I wish that sentry gun got down one second earlier. Oh, and then uh, one of the last things I wanted to talk about was COD. I swear, like in the last couple of years, it almost felt like COD wasn't just a game, but it was the game. It almost felt like my Xbox wasn't a gaming console. It was a Call of Duty machine. And while I sort of intrinsically knew it could do other things, I mean, heck, I watched a lot of Netflix on it. Netflix.com slash Woody, get your free month. <laughs> but um, I, I watched a lot of Netflix on it, and I watched, you know, I, I played other games now and then. It was mostly a COD machine, and it kind of felt like that. Now when I jump into COD, it's like my attitude changes. Like I think, oh, yeah, Call of Duty is a game. It's a game like many others. I know how to play this one. You know, you, you kind of use cover like I used right there. You, um, you know, try to make yourself a small target. You try and aim and be ready for a gunfight as you enter areas where you're probably going to find a gunfight. And that's that. And then when I hop on Minecraft, it's like, oh, yeah, this is Minecraft. I know how to play Minecraft, you know. When you, jump, when you get into PvP fights, try and jump so you get critical hits. When you move around, when you build a base, keep in mind these are glitches that allow people to get in, you know, go through solid walls or whatever. And, I, you know, like I, uh, I've got a lot of... Well, Minecraft is a super deep game. It's more complicated than Call of Duty. But um, uh, I've got a lot to learn. But mostly I feel like, you know... This is Minecraft, I play it sometimes. This is COD, I play it sometimes. And it's weird to me how I feel like um, my, like, suddenly COD isn't the beginning and end of gaming for me anymore. And I wonder if that is something that a lot of my viewers are experiencing too. Like, it's still a game I like, and I'm going to get it next year. But um, it's, it's just a game. Whereas before, it was like, you know, I don't know, it was something bigger than a game. It was, it was my everything. It was, it was huge. And um, uh, not, I, it's with my everything. That sounds ridiculous, right? But I have so much more variety in my gaming now. My, attitudes towards, my attitude towards games has changed up a whole bunch. And um, I don't know. I, I, like, I wonder if this... It's so big for me. I sit here wondering if you guys have been going through the same thing. If you guys are like, yeah, you know, like it, COD used to be like how I game. And now it's just one of my games. 
and you know i wonder if, if that's what you're going through that damn sentry gun came from my care package and then that guy talked so much trash about how he like got me with a shotgun but um that was a good death by the way because i took out the sentry gun but it was like dude the, you don't even know the sentry gun was a bigger problem than your gun was but whatever whatever uh if you watch this game i kind of it, it it looks like just a regular cod game like it's no big deal but you gotta understand i had like three teammates for some of this i had four for a lot of it against six they were an organized team they were all friends playing together i bet they win more than they lose but uh I felt like I kind of backpacked my my team and, and got a win. Here, it's it's over in a second. I'll show you. So look, I got 16 defense, <laughs> and uh, I guess one other, two other teammates actually went positive. But but you can see they they weren't really you know capping flags or defending flags or anything like that. I guess one cap flag. So anyway, I hope you like the commentary, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh -huh.